have two more minutes to complete it, and then we're going to start presenting, okay? To go first. Mary, you're up first. likings of South American foods that he should be living on empanadas, <laughs> which are breaded on the outside, so it covers the carbohydrate. You can put any kind of protein in the middle, but it's not a lot, so it's like 15% protein. And if you fry it in canola oil, then it will be healthy, and it will give him the fat that he needs. So we're going to, he's going to live on empanadas. <laughs> All right? Uh, Han Cook Young from South Korea. Uh, he is a midfielder and he prefers Korean and Japanese cuisine. So he gets about 3,200 calories a day. So he gets about 2,000 of those are from his carbs, 300 are from protein, and 800 are fat. So I said that like sushi, rice, and noodle dishes would be good because with the sushi, you get like your, all the carbs from the rice, but you're still getting healthy proteins with fish. But if you have fishes like salmon, you're also getting a lot of really healthy fats too. Um, so I thought that would be sushi. You should just stock up. That's awesome. Thank you. Protein, 
I did mostly from like the Mediterranean side, the fish, nuts, beans, and lay on the poultry and fat, and dip some bread in olive oil mm -hmm. and some of the fish as well. Did you do calculations for both fish people or dependent? Yeah. That's awesome because when you're like, a, like an athletic nutritionist, sometimes players flip flop positions if they have to based on like he's available and like if someone gets injured. So if you have that kind of breakdown, you can plan a diet ahead of time if that person has to switch their diet and they have to start eating more protein before the game because, hey, they're going to be a defender and they need to bulk up a little bit for that game so they have more strength to kick all the ball away from the goal, obviously. How long does it take to, for the diet to take effect and actually have a change on their performance, do you know? Um, it, would, it wouldn't be immediate, this is like, if that person was switching like after like a season or if like the game would happen like next week, it wouldn't happen if like it's like right before, right. like the day before. It had your body has to get used to like the different change of nutrients yeah. and once it gets those nutrients then oh now I know I'm getting different macronutrients, I need stuff from them here, here, and here, and utilizing them that way. So good job. Thank you. Okay, so you're up next. He's from Spain. He's 28 years old and 192 centimeter and 85 kilogram. He's defender. He's well. His total calories 3,400 total calories. So he's defender. So he needs 65 percent of carb, which is 20 to 10. 15% of protein, which is 510 calories, and fat, 20% of fat is 68 calories. So I'll give him a paella, which is he preferred Spanish and British food. So I'll put uh, chicken, fish, and chorizo into his paella. So all the carbs from the grains. Also, I'll give him a custard tart for dessert. Yeah. So he like British food too. So yeah, that custard made made by eggs. So I'll give more protein. And that's yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Um, I'm going to make a bold prediction. Switzerland's going to win the World Cup, just in case anyone's wondering. <laughs> um, and I <laughs> picked Switzerland with an Italian-speaking man, and Tranquillo Bernetta is the guy. He's 28 years old, he's 178 centimeters tall, 69 kilograms, he's a midfielder. And I basically, through the calculations, end up with about a 3,003 um, dietary plan that I sort of worked out for him, and it looks like he's gonna be about 65% of his diet is based off of carbohydrates, 300, 10% um, on protein, and 750 on fat. Um, I felt, um, because of his interest in cuisine, he is Eastern European, Swiss of course, and Italian. Um, I sort of switched it up for him a little bit. Um, obviously for the Swiss component, rich breakfast um, with muesli, uh, make sure he gets his um, yogurt and grains in there. Um, I worked on a protein diet because the Middle Eastern European, they like their fish, freshwater fish, so that's where he's going to get his um, proteins from. And then sort of as a transition, I would complement that with a risotto from the Italian section, just to sort of bring up again those carbohydrates. And then obviously close off the meal at dinner. We did some lasagna with a bechamel sauce, again very high in fat content. And then to offset a maybe a little spaghetti carbonara. Nice.